making all this VR content. And we were, weren't sure how many people would show up to something like that. So we thought, maybe we could do it like adjunct to some other conference, like, you know, kind of like how uh, Gamescom and uh, GDC Europe are piggyback, piggybacking off each other. And we thought maybe we could get two or three hundred people. And then as time went on and things accelerated and more and more people got into VR, it became very clear that there were more than 300 people that would want to show up. Uh, we were able to get this. We actually ended up shifting venues partly because of that. And this is about as much space as we were able to pull off. It turns out that uh, conferences are long, long lead time components. And so uh, it, hopefully next year or whenever the next time is, we're able to have a bit more space. I, there's a lot of people who would have liked to have been here and couldn't. Um, but I think that that change in just a few months really shows how fast VR is moving, where we went from just thinking to be a few hundred to a thousand people not being enough. Uh, last week I was in Berlin for the Samsung announcement of Gear VR at their eFun pack event. And it was crazy being in the audience because it's this huge auditorium with literally thousands of press, of, of press and journalist people uh, all sitting there, all watching this multi-hundred billion dollar and it occurred to me as I was watching how surreal it all was. I mean, we're watching this major mainstream, highly covered consumer event where a big company is announcing a virtual reality headset. And if this had been five years ago, before all of this kind of uh, got reborn, and it had been in a movie, people would have assumed that it was setting the movie up to uh, be set in the distant future, you know, 2030. And then you know, the CEO of Samsung gets off stage and he gets in his flying car and flies <laughs> in the sky palace. Um, but that's not what happened. It's actually something that is happening today. People are excited about virtual reality right now. And that's really thanks to all of the people that are, don't clap. So, uh, it's, <laughs> it's really due to all the people in this room. Um, it's not, I, we've done a lot of things. We've given them tools. We've try to get people excited, but without content, nobody would really be into this whole virtual reality thing. Speaking of which, I was like originally trying to use parts of my standard speech routine for this, and so I have to ask, how many people in this room have tried the Oculus Rift? <laughs> <laughs> That's like the best response ever. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're going to be showing a lot of things here that we've done. Our, we want to share a lot of the progress we've made, the places that we've gone, the places we think we're going. Uh, part of that, a lot of you missed out because we had a few talks going at once, but uh, at Narod Patel's talk about building DK1 hardware, we actually just announced that we open sourced all of the hardware and firmware for DK1. Uh, so yeah. uh, and then that's part of you know, our philosophy of sharing what we're doing as soon as we can with the community. That said, the most valuable parts of Connect are going to be what we spoon feed off the stage. Uh, like I said, this isn't a general public event. This isn't a gamer-centric event. This is about developers. And because of that, I think the most valuable interactions that connect are actually going to be the ones that happen not on stage, but off the stage. It's the dinners you're going to have with people. It's the demos that you're going to be able to try. Uh, it's connections that are going to last even after you leave the show, which you know it's, it's rare for that to happen for a bunch of people who are so into VR to actually come into the same real space. <laughs> um, I mean, it's just incredible. I don't know what to say. A couple years ago, we were a little scrappy band of people trying to make this happen as a startup, and now there's all of you guys here. Um, wow. Thank you. So yeah. have, have a great connect. This is going to be an awesome show. Oh, and there's bowling later. <laughs> we're going yeah. bowling. We don't have the venue. What, what, what's the top? 830? 830? Okay. So we don't actually have the venue rented out, but it's that bowling place. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's go try to do some bowling. Alright, guys, have a great connect, Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah.